個新學制咧，最強調咧就係釋放學生佢嘅潛能。而家揀嘅科目就唔同教制咁樣，要行死曬喺物理上。所以呢個係難題，我希望係第一次，香港有咁樣十二個國家嘅比較高級嘅代表嚟投票。呢、這個誒、呃、學制改革啦，可以令到香港嘅教育去進一步同國際做呢個接軌。咁所以我覺得個新學制咧，就係支持住我哋而家喺全世界睇到嘅教育上嘅改變。The world's economy has changed dramatically in recent years. Today's knowledge-based and globalized society has altered the demand for human resources. In this 21st century, what kinds of human resources does our society need? For example, the development of a person is about emotion. 又包括好似你剛才講咧，道德嘅標準，又包括想像嘅能力，又包括人事關係。They have to be able to develop a sense of self-awareness, so they understand who they are、um, and how they're going to live their lives. 咁喺工作上咧，如果你能够有誒、呃、一定嘅能力咧，其实你每一个能力，譬如話溝通啊、人际关系啊等等，你拆开佢嚟睇咧，都係有三方面嘅相关嘅知识技能同埋態度。冇人能夠知道呢啲同學畢業咗之後五年十年，佢哋嘅需要係咩嘢？咁所以我哋而家咧就係要令到啲同學咧就識得點樣自己去學習。How does the Hong Kong education system meet today's new challenges? What role does the education system in Hong Kong play in nurturing talent in this new age? Professor Ruth Hayho, a world-renowned scholar, came to Hong Kong more than 30 years ago and taught at Hip Yun School. In 1997, she became the director of the Hong Kong Institute of Education. She believes that Hong Kong's unique historical and cultural backgrounds are advantageous to nurturing its human capital. Hong Kong's unique is its own history. Because Hong Kong for 155 years was a Chinese colony. So she experienced a long history of the Chinese tradition and the Chinese tradition. 將西方嘅一啲好嘅教育嘅方法咧，能夠啊接受入嚟，所以好多香港已經係好多進步教學嘅方法。呢個所謂 Curriculum Development Institute 已經好多年，呢個改革以前已經開始咧，係課程嘅改革、教學嘅改革啊，介紹咗一啲新嘅方法，一啲比較有創造內容嘅方法。Professor Jeff Hayward, who came from the University of Leeds, thinks that successful students today should possess comprehensive knowledge and some basic practical skills. One, they have to have been exposed to and have learned some key conceptual ideas in a range of different subjects. Secondly, they need to have developed some practical capabilities such as being able to communicate, um, being able to work in teams, being able to problem solve. Third, they need to have a flexible approach to life, and they need to understand that they're going to have to learn new things all the way through their lives as their jobs change and they change jobs. Pleasure to welcome you all to Hong Kong for this International Education Forum and Expo. In July 2011, the Education Bureau of Hong Kong SAR hosted the International Education Forum and Expo on the theme "Learning Journey for the Globalized World." Many reputable ministers of education, educationalists, and scholars. Who have key influence over the education policy in Hong Kong met to discuss how education system affects the development of human resources in this globalized, knowledge-based society. Human resources is a bit broader, suggests so broader dimensions of education. But I have a new concept for you, which I hope you will embrace: humane talent. Not human talent, but humane talent.
In the forum, Professor Ruth Hayho points out that morality and virtue in Chinese culture greatly influence education in the 21st century. Well, just over two years ago, I had the huge pleasure of working on the Hong Kong Diploma uh, for Secondary Education. Professor Jeff Hayward thinks that to nurture students of the 21st century, the school system should have two key conditions. One is the curriculum that young people actually study must be intellectually demanding. So you need a system which is going to expose young people to challenging uh, ideas. Um, but secondly, you also need a system which enables young people to work with those ideas at a range of different levels. Um, and then you need a system which uh, encourages young people not just to pass examinations, but to engage in practical activities such as talking to each other, working in groups, working in teams and so on and so forth. And I think the days of a school system which is solely based on young people sitting in rows being told things has got to go. How can the education system in Hong Kong nurture the kind of students described by Professor Jeff Hayward? In 2009, Hong Kong launched a new academic structure of three years junior and three years senior secondary education. Starting from 2012, universities will introduce four-year undergraduate programs. Chairman of the Hong Kong Curriculum Development Council, Professor Edmund Ko, is a key figure in the academic reforms in Hong Kong. Gogo Le Yu Yi is a student under the new academic structure. Being a student ambassador at the International Education Forum and Expo, she explains to the public the new academic structure. Outside the classroom, independent project-based learning is added to the subject liberal studies to train up students' ability to explore issues independently. Yu Yi enjoys acquiring knowledge through project learning. The citizenship component is really strong in the Hong Kong diploma. It's, there, it's present there in that liberal studies component. Uh, and I think that's a real, real strength. Um, you tend not to find that sort of core component in many of the curricula that you look at around the world. Now, 
都冇好好咁去問自己，其實我嘅興趣喺邊度，我個強項喺邊度，我希望將來做嘅係乜嘢嘢。咁樣，如果佢哋喺呢方面喺中學嘅時候能夠有機會去思考咧，咁係一定會影響佢哋大學選課嘅。A new component of the new academic structure is the addition of other learning experiences to encourage students to participate in different activities and social services for whole person development. 以前咧，我哋好好有傳統嘅睇法咧，就係首先學習咧就係書本上知識嘅吸收，而一個學習嘅空間咧就係一個課堂。咁但係而家我哋睇學習咧，係比較一個全方位嘅模式噶啦。咁任何嘢都係一個學習嘅環境。咁特別係而家喺二十一世紀，我哋希望學生學到嘅能力咧，好多方面咧，都其實要喺課堂以外嘅環境裏邊學習嘅。咁所以呢個其他學習經歷咧，就帶嚟一個好大嘅學習空間俾我哋嘅學生咯。與工作有關嘅經驗，就係、是、參加一個、呃、由電台去舉辦嘅一啲活動。咁我係透過同主持人嘅交流，咁我了解到其實可能做主持啊呢一啲咧，都唔一定話要讀傳理系，可能讀 cam 都得嘅。因為我嗰個主持人咧就其實讀化學系出身，咁但係佢就而家係好出色嘅一個主持人。最緊要係你可唔可以朝住自己嘅目標進發？咁我覺得新高中學就係去提點我哋要多元思考。去了解唔同嘅科目，唔一定要去硬班班，唔會框死自己去思想咯。我自己覺得最緊要嘅咧，就係從一個經驗裏邊去作深層次嘅反思，然之後透過個反思咧，係令自己對自己嘅價值觀啊，對自己做人處事嘅態度啊，對自己嘅行為啊，有一個更加深刻嘅了解。咁好多時候咧。呃、我睇見好多學生咧，就係、是、參與好多嘅課外活動或者其他學習經驗。但如果你純粹係為活動而活動咁樣去參與，而唔喺事後做一個深層次嘅反思咧，係達唔到一定嘅學習成果嘅。At this International Education Forum and Expo, there are many discussions and exhibitions on the new academic structure. In addition, students in the second year of senior secondary take part in some forums to share their learning experiences. I wanted to study medicine when I was small, and then I wanted to study psychology, and then I wanted to study music. I think what the NSS provides for us is that we have a very broad exposure for Uh, and different subjects, because I take um, because we can choose science subjects and art subjects and economic subjects. That way, we can have a broad exposure and to have a clearer idea um, of what we really want and what we are really capable of. That way, we can um, choose the the most suitable subjects for us. 或者我第時想做一個從商嘅人士，或者我第時想做一個文學家，但其實我覺得咧，我哋、呃呃、都應該係揀科。其實
大前提跟住我哋嘅興趣，而唔係揀話譬如我哋第時咩賺錢嘅職業啦。誒、呃、興趣好重要，因為我哋誒、嗯、始終讀自己中意嘅嘢咧，係會最有誒、嗯、原動力去到讀書嘅。咁而我哋都會先至學得好。而第二呢，我就。建議大家，即係以我自己嘅誒經驗為例啦，就係揀唔同嘅科目，譬如我唔好淨係揀文科，唔好淨係揀理科或者淨係揀商科，因為其實喺第時個社會係好重要咧，就我哋有一個誒好、嗯、廣闊嘅眼光誒。嗯譬如我做醫生嘅，我都可能都要需要有其他科上面嘅知識嘅，咁所以我覺得我哋可以誒揀科就係一跟興趣，二就係多啲範圍咯。透過學習呢個組合科學咧，咁我可以知道其實有更加多嘢咧，係點樣去連接住我嘅生活。咁變咗咧，我去睇一啲唔同嘅問題嘅時候咧，我唔單止淨係可以從商業嘅一個角度去諗，我仲可以有一個生物學啊或者係科學啲嘅角度去咁去諗。啊，我想問一問翻兩位同學，可唔可以分享一下你哋誒做嗰個 independent inquiry study 誒過去一年嘅學習經歷？唔該曬。其實一開始係比較緊張，咁但係其實一路去誒，即係聽家長嘅問題之後，係發覺到其實家長對呢個新學制係非常非常之擔心啦。咁但係如果我喺台上面唔好適當，唔係好適當咁樣去留意到家長嘅呢個擔心嘅話，咁可能就會我哋嘅答嘅問題可能就未必可以真係解答到家長嘅問題啦。咁所以我會去學習，即係其實呢兩日唔單止係個論壇啦，我學識咗點樣去理解人哋嘅需要啦，同埋去點樣去好好去表達人哋嘅諗法。我覺得即係唔一定話一定學業成績好先代表一個細路仔出眾。其實好多方面，譬如你電腦叻，可能其他細路仔唔及你嘅，其實你個細路仔已經贏咗噶啦。所以其實我覺得就係放手啦。我以前係一個相對於比較文靜同埋係唔多出聲嘅人嚟嘅，因為我覺得、呃、我唔係好中意咁面對觀眾其實根據、呃、即係經過今次嘅呢個論壇之後，我更加懂得點樣同人哋去溝通，即係一啲嘅溝通技巧啊，同人點樣與人相處。其實我呢個係一個好好嘅、好難得嘅機會咯。我哋同嗰啲學生上台之前咧，係冇排演過嘅。我都係開始之前早少少咧，係同嗰啲學生啊、同個校長啊、同佢哋老師咧，係食個餐晏。咁嗰餐晏嘅主要嘅談話咧，都係即係認識下佢哋嘅啫。我哋係冇問過佢哋，即係我將會問嘅問題。呢啲同學咧係真係有思考過佢哋學習嘅目的嘅，因為個新學制。其中一個好重要嘅咧，就係唔係淨係知識嘅傳授啊嘛。咁其實就係要學生主動為佢哋嘅學習負責任。咁喺呢四位嘅同學咧身上，我哋係睇到嘅。And the question for every system is how do we keep improving our systems so that we move towards the ideal of every young person learning what's in that equation. Sir Michael Barber, an advisor to former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, has researched over 20 education systems in Hong Kong and around the world. Sir Michael Barber highly commended the education system in Hong Kong. What we found in Hong Kong was um, a real focus on developing the quality of the teachers. What makes a system truly excellent is the quality of teaching in classrooms. Um, and in the systems that are already great, like Hong Kong's and becoming excellent, what you see in the schools is a real focus uh, from each teacher on trying to improve their teaching. And you see the teachers working together to improve each other's teaching. So being Sir Michael Barber thinks that the academic reforms in Hong Kong can inspire other countries to think deeply about the directions of their own school systems. And that's a big change for Hong Kong. Um, after years of one system moving to this new academic stru structure is a very big change. Uh, and I think it's an important change. Uh, and I think other countries around the world are going to watch what happens here in Hong Kong because I think what's so exciting about the new academic structure is it really tries to anticipate um, what societies and economies will need from young people in the 21st century. Chairman of the Education Commission, Dr. Moses Cheng, has been actively involved in the formulation of Hong Kong's education policy. As a lawyer, he thinks that globalization impacts the legal business to a significant extent. Dr. Moses Cheng believes that today's young people should possess certain qualities. Uh, 
透過唔同嘅學科同埋佢學習嘅方式，全方位嘅學習一定係可以、呃、提升佢哋去裝備佢哋呢啲基本嘅工作嘅能力咯。A key feature in the academic reforms is the replacement of the Hong Kong Certificate of Education Examination and the Advanced Level Examination with a single public examination, the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education. Professor Ruth Hayho highlights that the new examination will allow more young people to receive quality education. This change is very important because it means that all the young people have a hope and a dream to be able to complete the school. 然後可以參加呢個考試嘅機會，再考大學，所以多咗好多種機會啊，俾我哋嘅青年人。咁我覺得最大嘅益處咧，就係可以同國際接軌啦。咁因為咧，三三四學制咧，其實好多嘅誒。呃 education 嘅 system， 即係例如 IB、International Baccalaureate 啦，又或者 SAT 就係呢個美國嘅制度嚟嘅。佢哋咧嘅學生咧都只係需要誒剔、呃、一次嘅考試嘅啫，就喺佢哋 Year Twelve 嘅時候。咁即係咧同我哋而家 NSS 係一模一樣嘅。咁我就覺得呢、這個誒、呃、學制改革啦，可以令到香港嘅教育去進一步同國際做呢個接軌，咁就可以進一步推動呢個香港成為呢個國際教育中心咯。我覺得係十分之有益處嘅。The overseas education ministers at the forum are confident about the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education and how it can be bridged effectively to other education systems. Hong Kong students who've come through and done their A-level exams have always been very good academic students, but they haven't necessarily had the breadth that we get we see in students from other countries. And I think this new program will see very strong academic students who are also broad and able to think critically and solve problems better than perhaps in the past. That reflects very much how, in the United States, you would be applying to college. They're looking at you as a whole person, so they're looking at how you score on tests, which is clearly a, a key piece. But they're also looking at what kind of extracurricular activities are you doing. Have you taken a rigorous、uh, course load? What what are you like as a person? And looking at that whole picture for、uh, entrance into university. The new academic structure brings many challenges to the tertiary education system in Hong Kong. Professor Choi La Chi, Vice Chancellor of the University of Hong Kong, thinks under the new academic structure, university education will undergo significant changes. For the university, the challenge is very simple: add a year. Do we think that we will add a year of education? 即係譬如係好似係中七一樣係補習課程咁樣，大家因為有唔同嘅背景嚟嘅，我哋係咪一個個補習課程咧？亦或係一個係完全嘅改革咧？咁我哋係攞咗呢個完全嘅改革。咁呢個改革嘅時候咧，我哋有一個所謂核心課程，每個同學都要讀嘅，就係、是、啊，無論讀文科嘅、理科嘅、讀醫科嘅或者係工程嘅，都要去讀呢核心課程。核心課程裏邊咧，我哋有四個唔同嘅範疇。咁咧就係啊科學嘅啦，係文學嘅啦，中國嘅認識同埋呢個國際嘅認識。所以學習模式同環境嘅配合係好緊要嘅。咁所以喺我哋個個八週年校園嘅發展裏邊咧，就將呢個元素咧變成一個最緊要嘅嘅單元。喺學校裏邊學習咧，我哋覺得唔淨止係喺上堂時候好緊要，而係落堂咧嘅互動性咧係更加緊要。所以我哋做咗好多啲所謂研習方。俾同學去落咗堂之後學習，咁樣有啲地方咧，可能甚至喺我哋可以喺度上網食嘢討論，廿四小時開放，可以容納二千人啊！咁所以係一個非常之大嘅地方嚟嘅。As an international education centre, Hong Kong attracts students from around the world to study in its universities to make Hong Kong's universities more internationalised. My name is Julian Gartner.、Um, I'm actually from Germany. Yeah, it was actually a big choice for me to go to Hong Kong University because I was actually admitted in in a few German universities, and、um, in Germany I would not have to pay anything for my studies. And th I think it's good to study in Germany、uh, things like medicine or law or or engineering. 
But if you really want to engage into a world politics, if you want to be in a position where you can see many things that are happening right now in the world, especially if, you, if you're interested in China, I think Hong Kong was a very, very good choice for that. Because, because the, the studies are in English, and there's professors from all over the world. I could continue taking Putonghua classes. I could continue to learning actually Cantonese. And especially like the way, the way I lived here, I really lived with the local students. Um, so I was <laughs> going to say The introduction of the other learning experiences is a key component of the new curriculum. Our school children in this International Education Forum and Expo, Hong Kong also hosts its first ministerial roundtable, at which the ministers of education from North America, Asia, Australia and Europe share their experiences and insights on education reforms and the development of human capital. Lingolantane, so to me it was an absolute privilege to be here with uh, so many great education leaders and it was a wonderful initiative that Hong Kong took to bring those people together yesterday for a very rich and informative discussion. It's an exciting opportunity to exchange views, to share best practice, uh, to talk through how we're going to face as different nations, but with a common purpose, the economic and social imperatives associated with learning. I 今次是香港第一次有這麼大型的教育的博覽和博獎等等 除了提供了多年的高中學習的機會,也是讓我們很多不同的選擇 而令到他們找到自己、找到自己的定位、找到自己的能力